I'm Cypher and in today's video I will show you how I built my simple line follow robot which you can do it as well you just need a PCB few components and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel special thanks to PCB Bay for sponsoring this project more about them later on the video a slight mouse movement and a double click on my favorite software Altium Designer and we begin the process of building a PCB based robot First, we draw a schematic of our design and the connection between all the components. Then, I did the routing for the first and second PCB layer. And many hours later, we have our PCB ready to be printed. Now, let me tell you what components I used for this project, from little SMD resistors, the microcontroller, and other. First, we have TCRT5000. This tiny sensor is the eye of my line follower robot. TCRT5000 is an infrared sensor. It consists of an IR emitter and a photoresistor in a compact package. By integrating a potentiometer into the circuit, the potentiometer will be used to fine-tune or adjust the sensor sensitivity. The LM358 can amplify or condition the sensor output, allowing the robot to follow lines more accurately or with greater sensitivity. For this project, I used N20 motors which I can control using an L293 motor driver. And at last for the brain, my robot will use Atmega 358, similar to the one you see on the Arduino Nano. No project is complete without the right tools and materials. That's where our sponsor PCBWay stepped in to provide essential support for this project. PCBWay is a leading provider of high quality printed circuit boards or PCB and PCB assembly services. To learn more about them, please check the link in the description down below. Everything was fine until I noticed that I had forgotten something. A simple push button that let me reset the microcontroller. Also my motor driver needs at least 5 volt, but my single battery cell wasn't enough. So I used this MT3608 voltage booster and after fine tuning, it's ready. Then I start coding for base functions and simple robot moves. After a few minutes of testing, everything was fine until I noticed voltage booster was heating up and didn't work properly. So I changed the voltage booster with my favorite XL6009. During the tests, the robot had a few mechanical problems, but in the end, everything was fine. Now I need a few functions to make the robot easy to use and more interesting. First, with the help of the onboard micro switch, every time I want the robot to start, I can use the micro switch and the no pixel will tell me which state my robot is at. I also added a simple function for the buzzer, so every time the robot detects the line, it will make a short sound. After all the robot is ready, but it's slow because I used 100 RPM motors. If this video gets 1000 likes, I will add high RPM motors to the robot and we will test it together. So don't forget to like this video and thanks for watching, I see you guys in the next video.